It's a nice building. How long ago was it condemned? Oh, great. So did you come all the way over here just to criticize where I live, or is... That's a side benefit. You gotta be kidding me. What? Ah, uh, that. Sentimental value. So just put that away. Nice panda. Thank you, grandmother. Christmas thing. Get your tux on. We got a situation. Uh, a situation that requires a tux. Where, where is this tuxedo situation? Atlantic City. Can you get dressed now? Uh, yeah, I could. But? I don't have a tux. I'm not Bruce Wayne. Don't I know it? It's not on the menu, but might I suggest the I got my ass kicked martini? It goes well with the second tier law firm potato skins. Those come with bacon? I don't know. Never had them. Take it my client's not coming. He was your client, but then you offered him a deal too good to be true. You got the paperwork. Because he trusted me. Well played, Harvey. No, here's the play. He's gonna take his company public like I told him two months ago. A deal, my new client, a certain hedge fund, just agreed to underwrite. You know Edelson Investments, don't you? I do. Apparently I used to represent them. Ah, you're taking this well. What do you want me to do, cry? Harvey, we play the game. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Not me. Which brings me to a suggestion of my own. Come work for Bratton Gold. Come work for you. With me. Did you not hear what I said about the potato skins? You're second tier. What about you? It is blood in the water, Harvey. You may have fended off this attack, but we're not the only ones circling. We fended you off, we'll fend off the rest. With who? I got all your best senior associates, your future, and I'm not done. We'll see about that. Lunch is on us. After all, we just landed a huge new client. You say we, but I don't see your name on the door. Finally an office big enough for your balls. Okay, I am not touching that one. You would if you had bigger balls. Hold on a sec. You listen on Jessica's intercom? No, she told me. Before me? Well, I was the one to figure it out about Daniel. Oh, and how did she know that? Let's just focus on what's important. You just made partner. We just made partner. I'll grab the can opener. Whoa, whoa, that's pre-trial ritual. We're making an exception. I'll get the thumbtacks. Two dozen? Three dozen. Ooh, going for the record. Mr. Mendoza, you've asserted that as a parent, you have certain rights. Did those include the right to discipline Marco as you see fit? Every parent has that right. The right to teach your child a lesson. Yes. When he defies you. If need be. And if need be, do you get angry? Do you fly off the handle? Do you become abusive? No, I would never go that far. Mr. Mendoza, would you agree that along with those rights, you have certain responsibilities as a parent? Of course. The responsibility to keep your son healthy? Marco gets up every day at 4.30 to train. I think that one's covered. The responsibility to keep your son safe? That's the first job of every parent. Hmm. Let's talk about May 18th of last year. You took your son to the hospital where he was treated for severe dehydration. Rushed my son to keep him safe. What I'm interested in is how he got dehydrated in the first place. He was running laps. And hadn't you had an argument about going pro the night before? Yes. And you wanted to teach him a lesson, as was your right. What? He questioned your authority, didn't he? He's done it before, hasn't he? And you don't like that, do you? You are twisting this. You got angry, you flew off the handle, and you became abusive. Objection badgering. Easy, Mr. Ross. Marco has never called 911. He's never reported me to social services. He's never complained to anyone. They never do. You think I put my own son in the hospital? Oh, I've read this report. I know you did, and I know you will again. You are a lying little piece of shit. There it is. Mr. Mendoza, that's enough. No further questions. You wanted to see me? I saw you handing out bonuses to the associates earlier. They must all be feeling grateful. The firm was quite generous. Not just the associates who should be rewarded. Well, for me personally, it's the satisfaction of the work that drives me. Although the money does help keep score. You misunderstand me. I don't have a check for you, Lewis. I was hoping you had one for me. 
I'm sorry, I'm confused. Jessica is the one who handles the bonuses for the partners. I'm not talking about a bonus check. I'm talking about a buy-in check for senior partnership. As founding partner, I'm entitled to name one new senior partner a year. I'm naming you. You're making, you're, you're making me. Yes. I can't wait to tell everybody. My mother, my father, Rabbi Shimkov. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, the look on Harvey's face. Lewis, it's official as of this moment, but I think we should make the actual announcement at the next senior partners meeting. Sure, the meeting where the managing partner will be voted on. I believe that is on the agenda. Best to do these things face to face. Don't you agree? It's our secret. Tomorrow's just like any other Tuesday. Exactly. Hey, congratulations. They never checked. What do you mean they never checked? The internet was not what it is today. It was not so easy to catch plagiarism. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you graduated college then, then that, that would make you... Old enough to run my own law firm. But you look so young. Well, you know what they say. Mm-hmm. True beauty Black is ageless. Black don't crack. Uh -huh. <clears throat> That's what I meant to say. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, enough about <clears throat> me. I want to hear about you. What was Harvard like? I was three when I realized that I wasn't like the other kids. When school started, it, it, was like a, it was like a joke. I didn't take notes. I never studied. Every year, people would tell me, next year, you won't get away with it. I kept waiting for it to get harder, but it just never did. And Harvard? I knew it would end, and it had to. I thought, yeah, I'd finally found a place where I'd be uh, exposed. But it turns out, even at the mighty Harvard Law. You weren't the same as the other kids. I know it sounds cocky. Not to me. The fact is, you don't think of yourself as smart. You've always had your mind. It just is what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't, I don't think of myself as smart, you know? I just think of everybody else as... Idiots. Not smart. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Did Harvey Specter order you to shred that document? I declined to answer pursuant to my Fifth Amendment rights. Did you put your date stamp on that document? I declined to answer. Um I'm not going to ask questions that you're just going to plead the fifth to, so. Had Harvey Specter asked you to bury something five years ago, would you? He wouldn't ask me to do that. That's not what I asked. If he did, would you do it? Oh, so you're pausing, which means you're hiding something. No, I'm not. See, I think you'd do anything for him, and I know why. Is there a question? Do you love Harvey Specter? What? Do you love him? That has nothing to do with... It has everything to do with. Why'd your last boyfriend break up with you? Miss Paulson, why'd he end it with you? He thought that I prioritized my work over our relationship. Your work? He asked you to choose between him and Harvey didn't he? Yes. Who'd you choose? Harvey. Because you love him. Lewis, stop. It is not that simple. Do you love him, yes or no? Answer the question. Lewis. You're with him all the time. Your work revolves around him. Your life revolves around him. Objection. Badgering. You don't have a boyfriend, but the one you did wouldn't share you with Your him. Your Honor. Please, I just need a... Do you love Harvey Specter? Uh, uh, Do you love Harvey Specter? That's enough. 